everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Teresa and today we are wanted to share new perfume releases of 2023 I feel like the new releases are just flying right now my Instagram feed is full with new releases so I was like oh my god I gotta share with everyone so let's go ahead and jump into the video but as always please make sure you subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and jump right in so the first one uh, is which is a new release obviously I don't have any of these I have not smelled any of these um, the first one that I wanted to share with you guys which I'm super super excited for is um, I saw it today on my Instagram from Valentino we got Donna Born in Roma Intense I will have of course the bottle inserted somewhere here or here and super excited for that um, but do you want to hear something funny I love this perfume but every time I wear it it kind of burns my nose a little bit it gives me a little bit of sinus problems and as soon as i saw the picture i was like why is my nose burning <laughs> because i was like this perfume is so strong and then an intense version of it i was like oh my god i'm excited for it but will it give me sinus problems you know you don't want that in a perfume um so the notes are really simple i'm pretty sure there will be more notes listed later on but this is what has been shared so far so in the uh, i can't talk you have a uh, vanilla jasmine and benzoin and it will be uh, available in stores february 12 2023 so yeah they will have the uh, female version available and the male version and yeah i'm super uh, excited about it yes i have sinus problems with the original one but i'm excited for the intense one uh, the next uh, new release is from Tom Ford, which um, I'm not like super excited for or anything, but I uh, wanted to share it anyway. As always, I will have a picture right here. We got the um, Electric Cherry, Lost Cherry, I think, has been a thing. I could be completely crazy right now because I'm a perfume reviewer and I don't know it. And then we have Cherry Smoke which sounds absolutely delicious um so yeah um let's see price of course uh oh my god the 30 ml is 240 and the 50 ml is 390 so you already know this is not gonna be my collection because i'm not spending that much money in perfume i just i can't i'm not <laughs> but yeah i'm excited to smell it um but the thing is with uh, Tom Ford perfumes, especially the, the Lost Cherry ones. Yeah, so okay, okay, so Lost Cherry has been. Because I somehow remember Lost Cherry. They just don't last. They smell good in the beginning, but five minutes later they're kind of gone. So it's kind of a waste of money, especially for almost $400 after tax. Yeah, you pay $400. So yeah, that's a no for me. I uh, will not be able picking that up for sure. So the next one, I'm actually excited for that one. And that one is from uh, Modular. It's the Angel Elixir. That one looks really, really nice. Uh, the bottle is like a dark blue version of the original one. And you have um, pink pepper. So I'm looking at my phone. I'm looking at the notes. I have everything here because obviously I can't like know that. <laughs> So we have pink pepper, we have orange blossom, jasmine, elangelang, which I love, uh, sandalwood. Then in the base you have amber, extreme, and bourbon vanilla. And I don't see any patchouli listed. So that one, in my opinion, it sounds like definitely fall, winter. I don't know why they're coming out with this um, now. Um, but most perfume releases or new makeup releases, they usually come in January. But that one, I am definitely, definitely uh, looking forward for that one. Next, we got a new Carolina Herrera Flanca. We got Good Girl Blush, and the bottle of this one looks stunning, in my opinion. It's like this cute baby pink heel, which is looking just so cute. In the top notes, you have bergamot, you have peony, and in the base, you have vanilla. So bergamot and peony gives me, it's definitely, so it's definitely more of a fresh floral, but then in the base, you have vanilla. So I'm excited for that one. Like I have no idea what this is gonna smell like, but I'm excited. The next one uh, is from Armani and you know, the bottle of the Armani one and the uh, Valentino one, the new one, the Intense, they look the same. They have like this pink top and then it fades down to a dark blue or like vice versa. So we have My Way Parfum. 
Um, so I'm excited for this one too. On the top you have bergamot, orange blossom, in the mid you have tuberose, iris, in the base you have cedar, bourbon vanilla and musk. So I'm not sure, honestly not quite sure what will it be. Will it just be more like concentration? Will it just be more strong? But I think they haven't. Do they have an intense already for my money my way? I'm not sure right now. But yeah, I'm excited for that one. I do have the original my way and I do really love it. So I am excited for that one. And the picture of it just looks so cute. Then we have a new release from Escada. Um, I think they come out like every year with a new release. So we have, sorry, I'm just looking at my neighbor. <laughs> Um, we have Escada Santorini Sunshine. So it says, uh, experience the limited edition Santorini Sunrise, a promise of full emission. Okay, I'm gonna stop now because I can't even pronounce that. Um, so yeah, what do we got? We have bergamot sorbet, we have mandarin, we have jasmine, pink pepper, and earthy notes. Not the biggest fan of earthy notes, but I have not smelled an Escada perfume that I didn't like, except of I think the pink hearts was a little bit too childish, but overall I do like the Escada perfumes. Let's move on to the next one. So we got another black opium flanker. We got another one. Uh, the bottle looks really nice. It's completely black and it is called a YSL Black Opium Le Parfum. Everybody comes out with a Le Parfum now. And the price on this one, it's already available at, uh, on the Neiman and Marcus website. The price of this one is 41.7 fluid ounces, 50 ml. It's $149. Whew, that's a hefty price tag and for the um, I did see it on the Neiman and Marcus website 43 fluid ounces I think it is close to 200 which is just quite hefty and I've seen it like overall with the perfume prices they're, they're just going up like it's a like, whoa for a three ounce bottle like you are gonna have to break an arm and a leg for it so yeah so we got in the top we have Calabrian, green, mandarin, orange, then we have pear, cinnamon, mmm, cinnamon. In the mid you have jasmine, orange blossom, of course in the base we have coffee, vanilla, caret, and patchouli, I probably butchered that last um, name. But yeah, I will definitely smell it, um, but I I have the uh, green elicit now, which I really love, and I have the Nuit Blanche, which I really love. It's like more the of a like tonic version. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'm gonna buy it. Um, I mean, I don't know. I will obviously want to smell it. Oh my god, we have so many. We have so many. We have a new release from Mason Martin Margiela. It's called On a Date, which actually sounds really, you know, cute. Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, so we got uh, black currant liquor. Black currant liquor. Okay, I mean I do like black currant. We got bergamot. We got pink pepper. In the mid we have rose. Then we have davana, geranium, patchouli, vetiver, moss, and musk. So when I see davana and black currant, it immediately reminded me of Amani Sea Intense because I think it has those two notes in there. But you know it can smell completely different. But yeah, I don't. I think it's uh, available in Canada already. I'm not sure about the U.S. But um, yeah, I'm not like crazy for any like of the replica uh, Mason Margiela perfumes. They're nice. I do love Chas Club. My husband does have Chas Club, and this one is it's a really nice one. But I'm not like crazy for them. Um, we do have, um, they've been out for a couple of months now, I think the Ariana Grande Mood Perfumes, we have the Mood Blush and Mood Vanilla, I got to smell them in Ulta, I think two weeks ago, uh, the Mood Blush, a eh, very cheap smelling celebrity perfume, Mood Blush, yeah, I mean the Mood Vanilla, it smells nice, you get the Baccarat, I mean the Cloud kind of DNA in it with a little bit more vanilla, but honestly nothing groundbreaking. My opinion nothing groundbreaking um let's see what else we got 
So we got another release from Fleur, it's called Tangerine Boy and I think this brand is pretty fairly new still, I think it's been around for around 2-3 years, but you know, correct me if I'm wrong. We have, it's called Tangerine Boy and in the top you have lemon, ginger, black pepper, uh, apple, tangerine, jasmine and amber and moss. Price for the 50ml is $96. So. I'm not like so crazy for this brand to be completely honest with you. I've smelled missing person. I was very underwhelmed by it. But you know, it doesn't mean that this one is not good. So yeah, those were all of the uh, new releases. Um, please share any new releases that you have seen that I have not mentioned. And I'm pretty sure there might be a part two coming up soon because um, it's the new year. So many brands coming out with new releases. Maybe we see another La Vie Bell coming up. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, please again, please make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.